Hello community. In this discussion, we will see how to add some styles in the list view. I mean the tree view here. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to add order by option in the list view, please check link is given in description. Plus, if you want to learn more about Odoo with different views and the real test case, please check playlist. And if you are following this playlist, Odoo version 13 and 14 development technical training then you don't need to follow any other Odoo related playlist because this is the main playlist and if you want to learn more about Odoo with different topic wise only then you can just use this playlist and if you have any doubt and if you need any support here then you can just go to the end about page and you can shoot your email to this email id let's back to our main topic like how we can add some styles in the list view first we need to understand what is style and how we can implement in the list view so let's say i'm going to in cells menu and here you can see some different things right like let's say uh, let me close this one first like let's say this is our simple list view here in this list view you can see here this field this number field this field having a bold style right then after you can see here in the status you can see this field having some different color combination also available so such styles you can add in your custom tree view also so we will see like how we can also add such options in the existing list view in our tree view here in the student profile we will see each and every support add styles in the list view please check till end of this session you will get more information about this one so first thing is like let's say Odoo provides two major things like first thing is the styling as a if you want to add some colon as a italic or as a bold style if you want to add then Odoo provides that one then after you can also add colors for the specific record set here it is also possible so we will see such styles with different test cases here all right so let me go to here in the editor you can see this is our list view and this is our tree tag so we already define editable attribute and default attribute so let me comment this section at this time at this moment because i'm not using these attributes at this moment so this is our simple list view right so now like how i can add some styling options here like let's say i want to add like the name and the roll number field as a bold character then how can i do so simple like we have to mention here one more attribute that attribute name is decoration and this decoration also supports many parameters so it depends on your requirement so this is the fixed value we have to provide here so let's say here we have to provide here the bold style to this roll number and the name field so simple we have to use decoration then after dask and here we have to use bf uh, bf means bold font b, b stands for the bold and f stands for the font here and here like like odoo does like if you are providing directly like this way then odoo writes the error so simply what we have to do equal to and in double quote we have to mention one one means active this attribute this style to this specific field here so i'm also doing the same thing here like decoration dask fb and one one for active like let's say if you want to deactive it means zero so like this way we have to use but let me add here one let me restart the service plus upgrade the module here let me minimize this one i'm going to in front end side and trying to refresh the patch all 
all right so here you can see the roll number field and the name field have some different uh, you can see the difference between this school name and the name field here right like roll number and the name field like both are display as a bold character and rest fields you can see here it's a normal style let's say if you want to add some italic style to the school name then simply like we have to provide here like decoration instead of the bf we have to use italic for the i t that's it and this those are the shortcut name like it then after bf and all so let's say i'm upgrade i'm trying to upgrade the module here all right and i'm going to in browser and trying to refresh the page you can see here the school name once refresh the page you can see it's having a slightly different in italic format right so this is how the decoration is working here so now let let's say if you want to add some color to the specific field only that is also possible like using different technique so here like let's say i'm using the school name again one more time and i'm using like decoration and i want to use uh, the red color here so how can i do uh, first thing is like if you want to remember this uh, this decorations very easy way then you have to understand the bootstrap here so odoo actually working based on the bootstrap here so here like if you see the alert options there are many alert options available right like let's say the info related success warning danger then after muted and the primary then after like warning message is also available right so they are having some different color color combination let's say if you want to add uh, color as a font color as a red then it means you have to use danger color so it's very simple like decoration after like we have to use this danger that's it the bootstrap alert class name we have to provide okay so first thing is like we have to use the decoration then after desk as it is and here we have to provide that alert name that's it and i'm trying to upgrade the module oh sorry so you can see here like i didn't mention here the value and odoo automatically writes the error so let me add here one now trying to upgrade the module now i'm going to in browser and refresh the page you can see here the color also change so this is something like this way you can add colors here so let me add some different colors with different fields here so you will get also idea how we can do it like Alright, I, I guess you already understood, right? So now, let's say for the ID, I want to use the color as an info. One, then after let's say decoration, uh, like let's say we use danger, then after we use info, now let's say warning. So we can, we have to use like this. Then after like decoration one instead of this BF we have to use like muted here and like let's say decoration danger one and instead of this danger like we have to use warning message one more time oh sorry like we use two times so it's a missing success is missing okay so success success info oh, where is the info yeah the first will info muted warning okay all colors we already provided oh yeah one more color missing which is the primary okay primary that's it 
now I'm going to terminal and trying to upgrade the module and trying to refresh the page from the browser side and now you can see different colors available here so this is info then after this is the warning message no sorry this is the warning message so like this way you can add depends on your requirement you can add this color combination usually we are not using like this way because this is not looking as professional right so actually we are using to add such colors uh, based on the condition here based on the conditions means like let's say we have some stats stat means like let's say i'm going to in cells order and let me open any of the cells uh, you can see here this is the cell uh, status bar you can see list of different status also available so easily like if i want i'm going to here in the list view and there is a different stats also available you can see here like this so might be there is a chance like uh, like let's say here 80 records is here with different status and i want to i want to see like let's say the status like quotation status i want to see in blue color or in the red color like let's say cancel orders i want to see in the red color then after the confirm order i want to see in the green color then after quotation status i want to see all the orders as a blue color the blue line i mean here this one the whole row then it is also possible using the condition wise so let's see how we can do in our student profile here like let's say here i have to first remove this decorations here let's say i'm leaving bold as it is but i'm trying to remove this back and colors here and let's say you can also add such color combinations in the tree tag here directly here like decoration and after let's say danger and here we have to provide one simple condition and uh, like let's say id like let's say id 25 like let's say id 20 if id greater than 20 it will use this color ger going to in front end side and trying to refresh the page so you can see here so greater than 20 all rows having a red color right then after let's say i want to see decoration danger uh, sorry info or let's say primary i want to C like greater than 0 and ID less than 5 I want to see all the records in the primary color then how can I do like simple I will use like this condition here like space here we have to use up oh, sorry uh, we have to use here the correct signature here like let's say and gt ld like this don't worry about this one i will explain in 
in the conditional part and like I'm going to in front end side and trying to refresh the page. All right, so you can see like all these five records showing as a primary color you can see the blue color then after rest 6 to 17 having a black color right then after like 23 to 29 records having a red color so like this way you can add color combinations like this way using decorator of uh, decorator attribute and decorator attributes having a different values as you see here right the boost repellent class name plus like bf and it plus one more thing is uh, let's say if you want to add like this where the status you are uh, see here currently like this where it is also possible simple you have to active one widget like you can see the we are using widget as a handle due to that like you can see here in the list view it's active this drag and drop functionality right so same way like we have to use one more widget uh, let's say widget and here b-a-d-g-e batch that's it so if you active this widget so what happened you can see in the front end side you can see in the school name here so it's looking like this so it's look like this here right so like this way you can also add some style using the widget also so i hope you understood how you can add such type of decorations like bold italic then after some different colors let's say primary success info warning muted like all the color combinations you can add plus you can also add badge as a widget to display like this and uh, that's it for this discussion and our next session should be like how you can add buttons in the list view plus we will see button click event and we will see like how to add button plus some supported icons in case you have doubt related this topic this decorations please comment below and see you in next session